Elon Musk has just released some shocking revelations about the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Despite this scientific instrument being one of the most monumental breakthroughs in modern-day science, Musk has termed it demonic technology. But that's not all. Other credible names have also come out to accuse CERN of doing something evil with the LHC, something that can destroy all of humankind. What is CERN really doing with the Large Hadron Collider? Why is Elon Musk calling this technology demonic? What shocking revelations and proofs exist that the Large Hadron Collider can truly destroy all of humankind? Join us in this video as Elon Musk says CERN's Large Hadron Collider is demonic technology. Our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. So we are summoning the demon. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is a monumental brainchild of science and engineering. Located at the border between Switzerland and France, this massive equipment has the function of smashing charged particles together to produce smaller particles and reactions. Scientists can then study these reactions and resulting particles to try and understand more about our universe. The LHC basically functions as a giant particle accelerator. It pushes charged particles, protons or ions, at the speed of light before smashing them together in an enclosed chamber. A beam of particles must accelerate to their highest energies before being smashed against another beam coming in the opposite direction. To make this possible, the LHC features separate beam pipes or vacuum tubes. There are also lots of superconducting electromagnets to keep the beams glued to the accelerator rings. These electromagnets are chilled to temperatures of minus 270 degrees Celsius to make them of no resistance to electric current. One major driver for the creation of the LHC is to simulate the conditions and reactions of the Big Bang. The Big Bang, according to science, is the event that marked the birth of the universe. The universe, as we know it today, was nothing but a singularity. Everything was compressed into a singular point of unfathomably high density and temperature. Then, about 13.8 million years ago, a sudden explosion and expansion began. As the universe continued expanding and cooling, different kinds of light and matter were born. And so, subatomic particles, atoms, primordial elements, stars, galaxies, and everything else came to be. The cosmological models we have today are all based on the Big Bang theory. Concepts like universal expansion, cosmic microwave background, red shifting, and so on all support the Big Bang theory. However, scientists have been faced with some issues over the years, as certain particles and phenomena that are thought to exist have never been practically identified in our universe. Things like the God particle have always been a mere myth, at least not until the LHC came to be. The God particle, also called the Higgs boson particle, is a fundamental particle in the standard model of particle physics. This particle has zero spin, no electric charge, and no color charge. Higgs boson particle was renamed after Peter Higgs, a physicist who, in 1964, proposed the Higgs mechanism as a way for some particles to acquire mass. The Higgs mechanism postulates that particles acquire mass by interacting with the Higgs field. The Higgs field, in turn, is a field that gives mass to other primary particles like quarks and electrons. Generally, the Higgs boson is very unstable and disintegrates into other smaller particles almost as soon as it is formed. And so, studying it had always been a challenge. Scientists knew that the only way to create this particle was through a particle accelerator. But even then, the chances of one being formed were still very slim. The Higgs boson particle was finally discovered by the LHC in 2012. Scientists detected the particle while conducting ATLAS and CMS experiments. At first, experts at CERN weren't so sure if the particle was the Higgs boson or something else. And so it took almost six months of conducting a series of tests and analyses before experts finally concluded in March 2013 that the particle was actually the elusive Higgs boson particle. This discovery meant that the Higgs field theory was true. And so, after the discovery, 
physicist Peter Higgs, alongside his teammate Francois Englert, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. It was a monumental moment for the scientific community and a testament to the immense potential of the Large Hadron Collider. Scientists had renewed hope that this instrument would demystify other controversial concepts like dark matter and dark energy in the near future. However, the LHC hasn't always been seen as the magical wonder CERN claims it is. Right from the days of Bill Clinton, when it was still being conceived, many were skeptical about it. Some experts in the scientific community even theorized that the LHC could accidentally create a black hole that would swallow up the Earth. While this may sound like science fiction, there are many credible experts who debate that it might be, in fact, possible. One such expert is Francesco Calogero, a renowned nuclear physicist from the University of Rome, who won the 1995 Nobel Peace Prize. In 2000, this scientist wrote an article titled, Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Earth? This article sparked reactions from the scientific community and the general public alike. Also, since CERN's plans for building the Large Hadron Collider pretty much started around this time, this article made many people turn their attention to the mysterious LHC. Everyone couldn't help but wonder if the Large Hadron Collider would be the experiment to destroy the Earth. The entire idea of smashing charged particles at unfathomable speeds to produce unpredictable reactions and particles didn't seem very comforting. Many were naturally disturbed. By 2009, Francesco Calogero's article had become increasingly popular, especially as the LHC had just been turned on for the first time the previous year, 2008. It was even discussed on The Daily Show, a renowned American TV program. That year, 2009, The Daily Show, hosted by John Oliver, featured a physics professor who claimed that there was a 50% chance the LHC might create a black hole. However, on that particular episode of the show, John Oliver also featured experts at CERN, so viewers could get both sides of the story. CERN scientists argued that the LHC wasn't designed to harm the planet. Its only purpose was to push the boundaries of scientific discovery. But even so, the majority of the viewers sided with the professor. In 2008, when CERN turned on the LHC for the first time, many members of the public who witnessed the event were scared, thinking the agency may have created a portal to another dimension or something. They weren't alone in this. Other prominent persons in society also had their doubts about the LHC. One such person is Elon Musk. On August 21, 2022, billionaire tech entrepreneur Elon Musk made a very disturbing tweet about CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. He posted an image showing the inside of the LHC and also an image of a black skull along with it. At the bottom of the image, he rendered the words, I am normal and can be trusted with demonic technology unlike anything the world has ever seen. This tweet sparked reactions. Many thought it was another of Musk's Twitter stunts. Musk, though a serious businessman, is well known for being a troll on Twitter. From rude comments to totally weird tweets or childish memes that make no sense, Musk does it all. However, some Twitter folks didn't see this as a mere meme. The truth is, Elon has never used the term demonic technology before, not even in a meme. You see, Musk, a tech inventor himself, is no stranger to the wonders of science and technology. Elon is the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, two very revolutionary tech companies making waves currently. Plus, he has several other projects going on, like the Neuralink AI chip. And so, what would make Elon single out the LHC from all the technology in the world and call it demonic? Moreover, Elon Musk has a way of telling the truth in the most weird ways. In fact, he used several such means to express his fears of AI taking over humanity before going on to discuss such matters in several interviews. So, is there something Elon Musk knows about the Large Hadron Collider that the rest of the world doesn't? Is there a hidden danger to the use of the LHC? Well, 
most likely because Musk isn't the only one pointing fingers at CERN and the LHC. Max Laughlin, a young genius, also strongly believes that CERN may be doing more harm to our universe than good. This young scientist believes that CERN may have opened a portal to a strange dimension, one we know nothing about. While this may sound strange, some expert analysts have considered that this has substance to be actually true. CERN's Large Hadron Collider forms a kind of circular light show when turned on. It bears a striking resemblance to what we see in sci-fi movies when portals are opened. While movies like that may portray magic as the energy behind such portal openings, we can't deny that our science of today pretty much beats any magic that we know of. In fact, much of our technology today, like mobile phones, if it were introduced two centuries ago, would have been labeled as magic. So what if CERN may have found a way to open a portal to another dimension using science, just as Max Laughlin predicts? Just so you know, Max Laughlin isn't your average modern-day science fanatic or conspiracy theorist. The young genius, at just 13 years of age, was able to invent a piece of equipment that had the potential to provide free energy for all humans. Max believes he was put on Earth for one reason only, to invent. Also, if you hear Max speak, you'll notice he actually speaks logic, not unnecessary scientific jargon. Max argues that CERN is unaware of the uncertain possibilities tied to the LHC, and this is true. You see, the LHC is pretty much an experimental project. Although the aim may have been to discover or try to create the God Particle, CERN is fully aware that other strange and unforeseen particles or phenomena can come into the equation. However, the agency is still willing to risk it all to make the scientific breakthrough of a lifetime. But what if that breakthrough never comes, but instead, CERN ends up causing a cataclysmic event for all of humanity? Severe conspiracy theories have stated that CERN may have torn a hole in our reality, causing things like the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is a mysterious phenomenon in which a large group of people recall a particular event that is actually different from what actually occurred in reality. The phenomenon is called the Mandela Effect because it actually came into light after many folks reportedly had different memories of what happened to Nelson Mandela, South Africa's first president. You see, many people have a false memory that Nelson Mandela died while in prison in the 1980s. Meanwhile, in reality, Mandela actually served in prison for 27 years before becoming the president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. The Mandela theory was initially named by a writer and researcher named Fiona Broom. Broom was one of the people who had false memories of Mandela dying in prison. She even remembers it was published in the papers. However, when Broom brought the topic to those around her, some thought she was crazy or just hallucinating. Confused, Fiona Broom decided to look up for herself and found out that Mandela did, in fact, come out of prison to rule South Africa. However, when she shared her version of the story online, she found out that there were many other people like her who also had memories of Mandela dying in prison. This was more than mere coincidence, so Broom knew there was something deeper at play here. And so, the concept of the Mandela Effect was born, but it doesn't stop there. Several other incidences have occurred over the years, some very controversial. From names and spellings of various business brands to individuals finding personal documents and properties looking or feeling different from what they used to be, the Mandela Effect has become a global puzzle. For instance, most people thought the cartoon Looney Tunes was actually spelled as Looney Tunes. Also, the small curly wave at the middle end of the F in the Ford logo is something most people find absolutely baffling as it wasn't always there. These are just a few of the many Mandela effects reported. And it gets more disturbing when you consider that events and stories like these have been reported all over the world. And so, the question is, why is this happening? And what is the cause of it? Is it some sort of pandemic? Or is it something more sinister at play? Is there a problem with our memories? Or is there something wrong with our universe? Max Laughlin believes we are living in an alternate extension of our universe. He said, 
Even in my own scientific notes, I found rewritten signatures and things that are a little bit different from originally what I wrote. Max believes that the collective false memories of people all over the world are actually traces of our original memory from our original universe. Max believes that even minor alterations as small as an electron could have severe consequences on reality. Surely it can't be a coincidence that several other people have reported having similar experiences as Max. Some people remember certain memories that seem to have changed, while others remember certain things in reality that just don't seem right. Some netizens have even claimed that the world started feeling weird around 10 years ago, about around the time the LHC was first turned on. Even more astonishingly, the concept of the Mandela Effect was first noticed in 2009, just a year after CERN turned on the Large Hadron Collider. While all this may sound like fairy tales, Max strongly believes that CERN may have disrupted our reality and that the LHC experiments are doing more harm than good. Remember that our universe is massive and full of stuff we don't understand. We still don't know what makes the world tick. In fact, we're still trying to get our fundamental theories and models right, which is the reason for mega science projects like the LHC. But you see, as Max Laughlin puts it, the LHC may have disrupted the fabric of our universe, thereby throwing us into a parallel reality. This belief is based on the multiverse theory, which postulates that there are an infinite number of universes parallel to our own. Each of these universes has realities that are different from ours in certain ways. Max Laughlin believes we might not be inhabiting the original universe we once did. As soon as the LHC was turned on, we were shifted into an alternate reality. As the years go by, the transition keeps increasing and we keep seeing or noticing more changes in reality. Max has commented that he believes that CERN scientists may actually be aware of a disturbance in the space-time continuum. Even more, they might have manipulated certain events. While this may seem a bit far-fetched, it's not impossible either. There have been rumors and conspiracy theories that CERN is creating portals to connect different parts of the universe together or to open up our world to another dimension. Another conspiracy theory over the LHC is that the portals are giving access to strange energies and vibrations from other universes. This theory believes that the collective false memories of individuals, aka the Mandela Effect, are all a result of signals from other parallel universes. Now, we don't know where these rumors originated from or if they are true, but they are very similar to Max Laughlin's theories about CERN. And so, the question is, what exactly are these portals opening up to? Or what is on the other side of these portals and dimensions? Also, how broken is our universe currently? What's actually scary about all this is that we don't know how to stop it. Surely it's not like we can time travel or turn back the hands of time to when the LHC was inactive. Also, we don't know much about the universe to understand how to close a portal or undo false realities. In fact, as time goes on, we may find it hard to tell what is real and what is not. Quantum physics can be very complicated and unpredictable. And while instruments like the LHC may be a good step in the direction of demystifying some of the unknowns in our equation of the universe, its full capabilities and consequences are unknown. So far, the Large Hadron Collider has had only two major runs. The first major one was from 2010 to 2013, while the second was from 2015 to 2018. During that time, several interesting discoveries were made, including the famous God Particle. However, CERN isn't done with the Large Hadron Collider just yet. CERN is going to turn it on in the near future to unlock other universal mysteries like dark matter. Dark matter is the unseen matter that exists in the universe. Think of it like an invisible matter that occupies space and has mass, just like real matter. It exists in space, on Earth, and even in the quantum realm. Scientists estimate that dark matter makes up about 27% of the total mass in the universe. However, from decades of research, 
scientists have learned that dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light. Also, it is made up of strange particles unlike anything we know of. This is quite weird and makes the study of dark matter very difficult. Another strange concept that would foster the activation of the LHC is dark energy. Dark energy is the unseen, unknown force that is constantly at work in our universe. It is the mysterious force pulling the universe apart, causing the so-called accelerating expansion of the universe. Our current standard cosmological model, the Lambda CDM model, postulates that dark energy makes for about 68% of the total energy present in the universe. However, since this energy is quite weak compared to the strong gravitational forces experienced in stars and galaxies, we barely feel the effects of dark energy on Earth. Experts believe dark matter and dark energy, along with several other phenomena, can be verified by conducting experiments with the LHC. After the 2018 run, the LHC went through maintenance and upgrades to make it faster and more power efficient. By the time CERN powered the LHC again, it was 2022. This time around, another groundbreaking discovery was made. X particles. These particles are thought to date back to the universe's beginning, though they were short-lived. Members of the scientific community believe that studying this particle gives us a window to peer into the primordial universe. Understanding how these particles were formed, as well as their structure, could help us learn more about life just after the Big Bang. That being said, CERN would have to conduct more experiments with the Large Hadron Collider to explore this new particle as well as other previous ones that were on the list. However, many members of the public dread the reactivation of the Large Hadron Collider. What if the Mandela effect becomes worse? Or what if, this time, an accidental black hole is created? The risks are high, but so are the possible rewards. In any case, we may never know until we turn on the LHC, perhaps one final time. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.